Hello, I'm going to show you a few basic monoprinting techniques. So monoprinting is uh, very simple. Um, it's a hit and miss process. You never know what you're going to get. And you learn as you go along and you're almost inventing the technique for yourself. So there's, there's just some things I'm going to show you, but I'm sure you'll find your own. So one way of doing this, this is the block printing ink. Um, one way of doing this is to treat this mirror, which is a, we're going to use as a printing plate, to use it as a canvas and to quite literally paint something on it. So you could be using um, a portrait of somebody. So here is a random person who's going to be a stand-in for somebody significant, perhaps, in my life. Uh, so you don't have to have the actual image of that person. You can use somebody else as a stand-in. Um, and I'm going to just use brushes to, um, there will be accidents, as you can see, to create a portrait it's actually quite hard to to talk and to do at the same time so you'll see here that um, the brush is leaving some um, very nice marks uh, the beauty of this technique is that I can always um, wipe wipe things off um, she's got this, this one. The cheek goes there. Um, so this is not very visible. It's quite dark in here. So I could use this as an opportunity to just create interesting shadows that um, somehow echo the structure of the face. Um, Maybe this chin is a bit too big. Um, so you're basically going to use this as a canvas. Um, and when you don't like something, you could use a rag or a paper towel. You can dampen it and to actually take some of this stuff off. So you can actually um, spend quite a lot of time working into this. Um, and I'm just doing it very quickly to get you some idea of the effects that you can get. This side of the image is quite dark, so I could actually take a bigger brush and uh, darken it up quite substantially. Uh, and just give a hint, leave a hint of uh, what is going on here. Um, and this is quite squelchy, so maybe I have to wipe it off a little bit. Um, so it's, you can be quite... Um, Careful with it, and really put this into the into the shade now. Um, so let me just um, leave quite a few marks. She's got quite a lined face, so then I can just come back and strengthen some of this. Um, this line leading up to her nose another one here so let me just pull a print and see what it does so you just float the paper on top and then you just gently rub over it 
and you can peep to see what's happening. See if you want to rub a little bit harder somewhere uh, or not. And then I'm going to pull it good, go a bit harder there. Get some of those fine textures. Um, so there's the there's the print. So it's it's quite a long way from the original. It's a mirror image, and it's also something new. And that is the beauty of monoprinting is that you don't know what you're going to get. This allows me afterwards to go back into it with maybe a different kind of ink and color and work up some of the parts that I like or even cut some parts out. So I quite like that um, shaded eye there. So that's one way.